So I've been actually very busy the past few days. I did not have time to play Halo Infinite's uh, beta when they surprise dropped it a couple days ago. I did not have time, but I finally got around to, uh, I should say in air quotes, playing it because I never actually did play it. That's the sad part here. The Halo Infinite beta refused to work for me no matter how many times I tried to reload it. I updated my graphics drivers. I did everything that I was told because this is a widespread problem with the Steam launcher. It will not load Halo Infinite and it's not Steam's fault. It's 343 Industries again not making a finished product and I hate to say it everybody but Halo Infinite is broken and that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video so if you guys don't remember during Halo 5's launch, it was missing a bunch of stuff at release. The Master Chief Collection, absolute mess at release. And unfortunately, it seems like Halo Infinite's going to be the same way, at least for some people. Now, I know this is not as widespread of an issue as some of those previous titles had issues, as in like it was lacking content and different things, or it was, you know, half-assed. But this is one of those things where it's like a glitch that's game-breaking. It will not even let me get into the game. I'm half-tempted to blow the dust off my Xbox One and plug it in because I'm really, really excited for this beta and I wanted to try out the game because obviously it's Halo Infinite. I'm very, very happy about this game. This is one of my most hyped games of the entire year. It'll definitely probably end up being one of my favorite games that comes out this year just based on what they've showed me. I mean, you never know. It could turn out to be terrible, but I really highly doubt that. It seems like 343 was doing the right thing, but now, unfortunately, I have to report I can't even play it to confirm anything with the multiplayer. Now, obviously, the campaign does not come out until the 8th, but in its current state, the multiplayer does not work for me at all. My friend is having the exact same problem and we cannot play together because 343 decided to release a glitchy mess again. So unfortunately everybody I have to say like I said earlier Halo Infinite is broken. I will be updating you guys if it ends up working for me. I'm hoping I get to make a video on how I actually feel about Halo Infinite because in its current state, I can't even talk about it, everybody. And I feel like that's the thing that makes me the saddest. As a big Halo fan, as someone who's beat every single Halo campaign, Halo 3 is definitely my favorite. I have to report that Halo Infinite is broken. 343 Industries, if you're watching this video, I want you to know that I thought by you taking that one extra year that you all claimed that you needed, you'd actually put it to good use, but it seems to me that you all still are not ready to release a product, and unfortunately, us as the consumers are going to be the ones who pay the $60 price. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you don't, you cannot dislike it anymore. I mean, you can, but it doesn't count towards anything, so I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Jimmy out of here.